Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to more Firewatch. And like I said, if you don't know what happened in the last episode, then what the hell are you doing watching this series out of order? We're already on episode five. You need to watch the first four if you don't know what's going on. If you're not caught up yet, you need to be because this game is like a damn roller coaster and this is a fun ass ride. So let's continue. Use the wave receiver. Okay. Wait, let me see that photo with Julia. I need to see my fat material. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let me see. Does she got any titties? No, no, they're not that big. Okay, let's drop that. And let's use our wave receiver. Wait, where's Deadpool? Deadpool? What? Where's our turtle? Oh, whatever. Okay. Let's use the wave receiver. Oh, the June fire's still out. This receiver just picked something up. Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It just picked up a fre frequency? Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. All right, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? Sounded like she was drunk. No! I am getting drunk! Maybe a bad idea? Good plan? Don't do that. Yeah, we can't be doing that right now. Don't do that! I know. I know. Everything has gone to total shit, but... You gotta live a little. You gotta allow, Hank. No, no, you're right, D. I can't think of any good reason why you wouldn't want your decision-making inhibited right now. My thinking is, I could stay up all night worried I'm gonna lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof okay, we were down there. Higher over here. My thinking is, I'm gonna follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Oh yeah, aye, aye, turns aye. you on, baby. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Last thing I need is another big crossword breakthrough. Okay, so we turn the radio off because we don't want to hear any more bitch assness. We need to follow this wave receiver. So let me just keep following the beeping. Okay, I'm over here. The beeping is starting to get a little bit slower. So I don't think I'm going the right way. This shit is creepy though. And then going this way is making it beep higher. Okay, so beeping higher equals good. Beeping lower and slower equals bad. Rear bad. Okay, now it's starting to be faster. Uh oh. I'm starting to get creeped out. Uh, right here? Yeah, gap in bush. I love gaps in bush. Uh oh. Please don't jump. Please don't jump scare me. Oh, sh shit. Whose backpack is that? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Run. Run. Take the bag and run. What are you doing? Huh. Oh, K452! Bingo was his motherfucking name -o. But why was that thing beeping? Uh oh. Something's not right. I think what are you doing that was there? like a trigger, and now someone's gonna get me. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, you know, basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? I think it's a trap, to no, be honest. I'm fine, but... There's a set of keys here. I mean, I could be totally wrong, but it looks like the set to the cave that went missing. I can't yeah, run. it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's Oh my god, that, that gave me chills. It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Oh my god, that gave me chills down my spine. What the fuck? Somebody's in my tower? Wait, can I zoom? 
Oh shit. Okay. Let's get up there. If they're up there, they can't get down because there's only one way up. But I don't even have anything to protect me. Oh shit, guys. Grab onto something. If you're holding onto a pillow, hold onto that pillow. If you're grabbing onto a girl's ass, grab onto that ass. Uh. Hello? I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. What the fuck? Maybe they're under the bed? Deadpool! Deadpool! Is my dude Deadpool? Did he leave something? Come on, I can see you over there. It's a tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! Don't freak out. D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? I don't even know. Oh, god. Like, how is there somebody in our tower taped a Walkman on the door, and then just poof, they're gone? Like, like, really? What does that even mean? Who is that? Like, they couldn't have jumped out from the other side because I was thinking that. So I was like, as I was walking up the stairs, I was looking the whole time on the other side to see if somebody would jump off. Nope, nobody jumped off. So I have no idea what's going on. And let's just keep listening to this. What's wrong? What's wrong? Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so Dead someone boy, has evidence me, to back it up. Let's we go. need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. Okay, the only handcuffs I want is when we're in the bedroom doing the mattress mambo, alright? We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. Like, Delilah completely screwed us in our assholes when she told the people who were trying to report on the two teens missing. She fucked us over when she said that we don't know anything about those teens missing. Like, just be straight up. We didn't do anything to them. Or did we? Like, did something happen to those teens after I threw that boombox in the lake? I mean, I don't know because they hid behind a rock and then their tent was ransacked. And then they thought it was us that did that. But to be honest, we didn't do jack shit. I mean, we all we did was throw the boombox in there to get them to cut out the fireworks. And where the hell am I going? Hold on. Let me figure this out real quick. I'm just like walking and talking right now. Okay, so I'm right here. Where is the cave? It's somewhere over here. Okay, let's make our way over there. Wait, what the hell? There's huh. another turtle? Look at that. Let's see. You look like a... There's another turtle. Turt Reynolds, Shelly Duvall, Bucket Jr. I'll think about it. Aw. Well, in honor of Bucket, our dog, we'll name him Bucket Jr. Bucket Jr. Oh, okay. That's it? You're just gonna say Bucket Jr.? Okay, whatever. Holy hell. Delilah, the, the path out here is blocked off. There must have been a rock slide or something. Wait, holy shit, do you, do you think someone did this? 
No, Henry. I think that is what's called an act of God. I can't get out of here. I can't imagine they're going to keep us out here much longer. Not with all the fire in the area. And then the helicopter comes? And then the helicopter comes. Hey, you... You didn't actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout? It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Uh, no, I did not do that. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just, they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not gonna happen, though. Thanks, Henry. Alright, guys. We are now in the scary cave. I don't know what to expect. Jeez. Alright. Cave 452. Here we go. Please don't have, like, some Until Dawn monsters here. My heart can't take that. My little heart can't take that, guys. Please. No jump scare. Oh, the hell? The hell? Something pushed me, and I went down here automatically. I didn't even walk. Uh, okay. Loose rocks. Use Pulaski. That's Pulaski? Did I made my axe or something? Oh, shit. Is this like a bad ending if I go through here? Like, am I dead? Don't die. Oh, God. Whew. Wonder what would have happened if I went the other way. I guess we'll never know. freezing in here don't say that out loud dumbass what if somebody's down there with you They're like wait somebody said it's freezing in here get him boys what what is that is anybody down there a shoe looks like some Jordan ones what the fuck can I call that in that is a shoe oh god don't tell me somebody died down here Oh boy. Now I'm less scared. I'm honestly curious about that shoe. Like, what kind of shoe was that? Was that Nike? No? Was that Adidas? Nah, it looked more like a Nike. Oh, a bush. Bushes grow in caves? Okay. Long drop down. Te loca, long drop down. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No. There's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing oh. equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Okay. We have to get back to two forks. Oh, man. I don't have a good feeling about what we're going to find in that cave. Like, I honestly... Whoa! Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah. He C built himself a real castle. What does CS mean? Cocksucker? Oh, we can read it. Uh, squad Boss Grant Carson, 81089, Wyoming Interagency Hotshot Crew, Paint Rock Ranger District, Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station, Thoroughfare Region, Squad Boss Carson. In the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the Thoroughfare Region and Shoshone National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapiti Station. He reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you as part of a wildfire risk assessment of the region. I told them that they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most potent preventative measure in protecting their site. 
even though they'll be more than a mile away, but I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Thanks as always for your service, Rich Slurenko, Assistant Superintendent. Okay. What in the world? Fortress wall. Bunch of rocks stacked up. You made a wall and a perimeter. God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Nice He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband which gives him superpowers. Well, that's fucking dark. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. It's a little weird that he'd just leave so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. I lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Okay, before we continue, sorry, I just was waiting for a pause. I wanted to read what this says. Dear Ranger, hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this note, it should be with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Could you do me a favor and please return them to me? Brian Goodwin in the mail. My address is 55 Foxtrot Lane, North Platte, Nebraska 69101. If you tell me your name and address, I will give you a reward for this. You are probably wondering why I left these here. Well, they are my dad's and I don't want him to lose them, but I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ranger. Brian. P.S. The reward will be good. Winky face. Just kidding, there's no winky matter. face, but there should be a winky face because that shit sounded sus as fuck. Um, can we report the note? Huh. Brian stole his dad's climbing gear, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <sighs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. Okay, let's read this too. Player, Brian. Character, Gladius Silva. Alignment, chaotic, good race, half-elf, ranger, level 4. Sex, male, age 29, height 5'8", weight 135. Appearance, rugged. Okay, unintelligible nerd stuff. Unintelligible nerd stuff, what the fuck? Okay, it's telling me to explore deeper into the cave. Um, but how do I get back up there? There's a long drop down, so maybe I have to go back around? Or maybe I just have to keep researching Brian's stuff. This is weird. Like, is he missing? I thought we were supposed to be looking for teens. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily e. Coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. Okay, so I remember finding that backpack with the camera. Let's keep that. School folder. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. Oh, wow. Okay, playing basketball with an eyeball. A folder that once held school papers and reports, presumably defaced by Brian Goodwin. Okay. Let's toss that. Science homework. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. Yeah, but not smarter than yours truly, right? <laughs> Wait. Are you seriously feeling threatened by the intelligence of a 12-year-old you've never even met? I'm just saying... Are you only 12 I'm years old? pretty, uh, you know, with it. I'm a pretty bright bulb. 
Yeah, Henry, you're a regular road scholar. There's a no, ham I'm radio schematic here, here something here. Brian was working on. There's a busted old toy out here, some sort of electronic game. Yeah? I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved the out there. How do I get down? Wait. Cracked rock. Possibly used by climbers. Can't get anywhere though. Hmm. So I guess I do need to go somewhere over there. Postcard. Shit. Sorry, it's so sensitive. Okay. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. Okay, so those things I picked up, I can now put these in the cracked rock. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure that's going to be able to hold you? Come on, bro. Let's be real here. Get down there. Repel your ass down there. Okay, there we go. Sorry, it's hard to explain, but it's kind of hard to pinpoint what you're trying to do, like, with the controls. So that's why sometimes I'm, like, there? looking around and clicking on shit. Something in there. I don't know. What do you think? I'm probably going to get killed. Well, that's what we would say if we're pussies, but there's something there's in there. There's got to be something. Why else try to kill me? I don't know, really. I mean, we got to find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. And they closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? A, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Yes. Honestly, I just... I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. Well, it's your fault that we might be going to jail. I'm just trying to find my way back to that cave. I'm honestly starting to feel like that kid, Brian Goodwin, oh, uh, also, was in that cave. That's his shoe. Turned up. Looks like you didn't kill him. Nobody did. Well, thank they God. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and uh, landed in jail. Sweet. <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. Yeah. We've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd oh, say. Oh, fuck. I don't know why this cave is so creepy. It gives me the damn chills. Okay, we're back. Round two. Hopefully someone doesn't try to get us back in here again. Okay, can we go down? There you go. Hell yeah. Got it. Whew. You guys ready for this? Still turning back. Propel. Obviously someone went down there though because they cracked that rock so they could drive more of those things in there and repel down themselves. So maybe I'll live through this, but I don't know. Some guy lost his shoe and when you usually lose your shoe, that means you're pretty much fucked or dead or you escape the cave with one shoe on. Uh, but I don't know. I'm just trying to be optimistic here. I'm trying to see the glass half full instead of half empty. You know what I'm saying? But kind of, kind of creeped out by this. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I never lie to you guys. But let's focus. No more talking about being scared. I gotta be observant. I gotta figure out what the hell is going on. You guys can take all your wild guesses. I've been reading the comments, you know, you guys are all trying to figure out what's going on just like I am. I honestly feel like Brian Goodwin is in this cave. Oh, oh my fuck. Oh. Ah, oh, shit. Are you... Oh, God. You're Brian Goodwin. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. He's just gonna step over him. Why would you step over him? 
Oh my god. You can't examine him? Dude. Report that to Delilah. Oh, she can though, because we're in a cave. What the fuck? Oh my god. This is crazy, guys. Climb out of cave and report body. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Hopefully Brian Goodwin's body isn't like a zombie. That'd be weird. And why is this cave so long to get out of? What do I feel like something crazy is about to happen? And no, guys, I am not turning around. Because Brian Goodwin might be behind me. He's like, Henry. Henry. Ugh, creep myself out. Get the fuck out of here. Let's go. Come on, Henry. Pace yourself, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Get your ass up there. Get your weak ass up there, boy. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Uh, why is this shit creepy? I'm not even going to say anything anymore. I'm already expecting the jump scare. Whoa. What the hell? So choppy. Go, 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 go. Fucking go. Oh. Oh, God. Brian Goodwin, you motherfucker. Why'd you have to die? You were only 12 years old. Oh my god, okay, let's report that body. Hey, D. There Fuck. you are, I've been worrying my ass off. You need to call search and rescue. Um, what? There's a body in the cave. It's Brian Goodwin. How does that... What? I don't... How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm-hmm. Think it was an accident? Maybe it was Ned? Whoever is out there did it. Uh, I don't think Whoever it was an accident there because there were some they rocks placed him. over his head. Can we just put and it doesn't look like any rocks fell down. For a minute. That you know boy I mean? is dead. He was just a sweet kid. They didn't kill him, okay? Why kill a boy? I don't know. I'm sorry, Delilah. What do we do now? You should have told one you should have told someone about him. Let's just say I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I there's 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 nothing to say. The hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Wow. Wow. Like, I had a feeling we were going to find a body there. And then I started to think, okay, maybe Brian Goodwin is down there. Because all this evidence that we're finding, like, his, like, little cot or whatever he was where he was living at around the cave. Like, it made you want to get to know him before you find him in the cave and... The fact that we did find him and he was just a kid, like a 12-year-old boy. Oh, man, that just hits too close to home. Like, that's just a kid, man. That's horrible. And is nobody's going to tell him? They're not going to tell anybody that he was missing? Who is listening to us? Pack up belongings. Okay. Let's get that. Let's, uh... You see that plane? Uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's going to be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the June fire or the site fire? Or... Oh, Deadpool. Two oh, Bucket. Into one Where's Deadpool? Disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? Where's Deadpool? About what? About what happened to Brian? Um, yeah. About what happened to Brian? I don't have much to say. I'm Where's fine. Deadpool? I'm sad. I'm whatever. I keep thinking about him down there, and I just want to get far away from here. What can I do? We just have to wait for the helicopters. Okay. Until then, could you follow that signal? 
maybe. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um... Look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. Alright, look. If, if something happens... I'll remember you. Uh... Could this be a trap? Am I walking into a trap right now? I hope not. I would much rather remember you from a bar somewhere and not a jail cell. Please find who made that tape. Seriously. Okay, let's figure out where the source of this noise is coming from. Uh, planes are circling overhead. I think they're trying to contain the fire. Um, but the beeping is not getting any louder or high pitched. Wait. Right here, right here. Okay, let's keep falling this way. Okay, the beeping is getting louder around here. I think I'm getting closer. What's your yes, status? I am. Uh, no, getting, I think close. I'm getting close. Alright, well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's. it's just. Brian. Here we go. I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. Oh, cool. So I get to finally see Delilah. Awesome. But the beeping is getting faster and louder. Whoa. And it's getting laggier. Oh, up here. Oh. Henry. What the fuck? Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Oh my god, Henry. Yeah, hi, Henry. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave, for crock's sake. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell, and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and Delilah, she's a... She's a record you don't gotta flip. I kinda get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out, and that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids. All right, nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... He just, he just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and... It, I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Yeah, sorry about your wife. Hold on. Before we report Goodwin's tape, let me explore this thing a little bit. Report draft. Subject Henry, age 39. Observational traits, fuck, guilty. Great. Great observation. Fucking guilty. Perfect. Delilah, 43. And then nothing there. Okay. Radio log. Stakes too high, no one will believe B was happy. Make D and 2F less believable. 2F like crazy, like wife, not a good guy, Mama Grisback. They heard me, fully believe there's a program, use this. Reports final, make sure they find them. 2F almost caught me at sight. Okay, so I guess I'm 2F. Reports worked, recorded call, used for leverage. 2F found supplies, how? Key's gone, can't let 2F find B. I'm guessing B is Brian Goodwin, right? Okay, let's look at this too. God, fuck, sorry guys. 
Get a room. Reminder, scout migration due to fire. Fucked up. Do not want to leave. Reminder, hide supplies for migration. D and 2F suspect conspiracy. Funny, if not dire. Observe and be ready to leave. Ideas to start working on reports. Record all comms. Vandalize D's tower. Try to make remote recording device. Uni research site. Move. Pit against each other. Okay. Let me hold on to these real quick. It's like a show Delilah. Goodwin's view. What's the view of? Oh, my lookout tower. All right, let's report that tape. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone. He's been deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The... Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. He's got a, a, a survival bunker with radios and everything. He made it all up. Y you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. What the hell? Hike north to thoroughfare lookout for evacuation. Okay. All right, there you go. So I'm here and bada bing, we gotta get over there. Okay, sounds good to me. Let's do this. Let's go over to the evac point and meet Delilah for the first time. Hopefully she looked good though. I mean, I'll settle for a six out of 10, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'm desperate right now. I'm in the woods, you know, haven't got any action in what? Has it been 79 days, 80 days? Goddamn, that's what, two and a half months? I can't be dealing with that right now, so I gotta make my way over there. Delilah, we about to get freaky, all right? Better get freaky deaky. I know I should be relieved. Relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. But I'm not. It was a sweet kid. With a shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. Uh, let's just say I think it was an accident. Lila, I, I think it was an accident. I don't think Ned meant to kill him. We don't know what happened for sure. Ned wanted his son to be able to climb and do the sorts of things he did himself, but Brian couldn't. And how'd that turn out, Henry? Sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. Okay, this I is can't north. stop thinking about it. Don't blame yourself. You didn't do anything wrong. Yes, I did. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. <laughs> D? Is that a helicopter? Yeah, oh shit, where the hell am I? One. Hey. Okay. No, good. there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Alright, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think... Whoops. I'm gonna go with them. What about me? Wait, just wait, okay? I'm not that far. Henry, they're here. They're waiting right now. What about Please. me? Henry, I don't... Fuck, I don't even know where I'm going. I want to meet you and just sit here in a dead boy's shadow. Okay, I, I don't want to do that. Fuck me. Hold I on. That sounds harsh. <sighs> okay, I'll wait. Oh I'm my god. Far. Fuck, I think I went the wrong way too. Okay, let's go back and try to make it. One thing that completely pisses me off about this game is this map system. Holy crap, like I know it tells you north, south, east, west, all that jazz. And you even get this little wave point thing, whatever this is. But seriously, this map is some fuckery. And I'm trying to look at it right now, but it's some fuckery. Okay, 
Anyway, I don't want to complain too much about the map. We still have things to do. Uh, I don't know if choosing any of the options for Delilah, like to wait or to go or to say, what if they don't come back, if that actually makes a difference. Hopefully it does though, because I asked her to wait. I was like, wait, baby, wait for me. And hopefully, you know, this kind of gives me a different ending. Um, should I go up here? Let me see. Uh... Yeah, well, I can go this way. I don't even think it really matters. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep following this trail, and hopefully I can make it all the way to the lookout. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Finally! After like 30 million years. Um... Go here. Whew! Almost there, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how many times I said almost there, but I promise you, we are almost there. Thoroughfare is right here. Yay, finally a trail. So I have something to follow instead of just running around blind. Okay, Delilah's Tower. Yes, there it is, there it is. Oh, thank you. Get in there. Oh, don't tell me. This old creaky piece of shit. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> no, what are you doing? Why was it fading to black? Okay, it's just loading. Thank you. I was like, wait, this can't be a dream. Because that would be the shittiest dream ever. You dream that you're talking to a girl you've never seen? That would be the shittiest dream ever. Okay. Good. Uh, Delilah. My boo. My boo thing. She's been taking fast shits in here, hasn't she? Uh, have a good time. Yeah, you've been having a good time in there, haven't you? Okay, guys. It's the moment of truth. Oh, God, it's a nightmare Delilah. out there. Delilah. Hello? Delilah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Damn it. Oh, she's gone. Lucian's Gambit. Hello? Is anybody there? Hi. Y yeah, it's me. You're not here. No. Don't be mad. <sighs> I'm not. I just couldn't be out there for another minute. I get it. Hey, she drew me. I think so. It sucks. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. <laughs> okay, so that's a wash. Oh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No, and you'll have to, I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me and I'll choose for you. All right, perfect. All right. Sure. I vote that you should be um, a stripper. Maybe. Come to Boulder with me. Move to Santa Fe. Become crossword editor at the New York Times. Come with me if you want to leave. Maybe you could come back to Boulder with me and figure it out down there. Um, just, just a thought. You don't want me down there. Well, I just asked you. Look, I've got some things to do in Casper, and maybe I'll head south sometime after that. I could come by, sure. Where the hell is okay. Casper? So, what about me? I think you should go to Julia, and then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Uh... Okay, um... 
Would you? Would you? Henry, I... Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. Um... You're right. I mean... I think you're right. Good. When I get back, maybe I could, um... We shouldn't focus on this summer. The next year will roll around, and then the year after that, and then it's just a... I don't know. My Aunt Judy called it a pause in the hallway of time. <laughs> Did your Aunt Judy smoke a lot of pot? Yeah. Well, you should try to take her advice, too. Yeah, we'll see. There's the helicopter. They'll land back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. Thanks. You too. Goodbye. Uh, you too. You too. Good luck. No. Henry, you keep it for yourself, okay? Bye, Hank. Why does she keep calling me Hank? Uh, let's just check around here real quick. Maybe we might find something cool. I don't know. Thermal snow. Uh, slippers probably smell like shit because their feet probably stank. Look at that. What the hell is that? Teddy Roosevelt? Um. No, turn that on. I mean, I wish I, wish I was turning somebody else on over here, but I guess she left. Did we just leave now? Eh, whatever. I guess I'm done exploring there. We got a plane to catch. I got Deadpool. Well, I got Bucket Jr. in my pocket. I don't know where Deadpool is. Hopefully, we'll just pretend he's still in my pocket. But let's go make it to that helicopter. Even though I can't run. I can only like do like a slight jog. What the fuck is that? Hello guys. How y'all doing? Go home. Alright, let's go home. Thanks, buddy. No? No twist? That's kind of surprising. What? What the hell? That's the ending? That's the ending. Is this gonna be like some kind of Marvel movie where like something happens at the end? I don't get that. Like, like, what? I'm hold on. I'm still trying to process this. This is the ending. What happened in the game? Okay, so Brian Goodwin is dead in the cave. Nobody ever says anything about it. You know, Ned Goodwin was spying on us the whole time. Like, did I miss a whole bunch of items that I, you know, need to uncover for the truth? Like, look at this fuck. What's going on here? I'm not gonna lie, guys. That was disappointing to me. That ending was disappointing to me. It it was good, like, the, the game hooked me, and I was excited, but this ending, it's kinda just like, eh, but whatever, we're done here, bye. You know? Like, I don't feel like anything happened that m gripped me as much as the first and second act did. Third act was kind of short. You know, I don't get it. I don't know if I'm supposed to get it or if there were more things that I'm supposed to find in this game that is supposed to bring more meaning into this game. But I don't know, guys. If you ask me, I kind of feel like I got shortchanged here. I kind of feel disappointed by that ending. And there's Brian Goodwin's fuckboy face. I mean, I guess you're going to be stuck down in that cave forever, buddy. Because uh, none of us are going to find you. Wow. Well, you guys let me know what you think about this game in the comments below. I'd love to have a discussion with you all. You guys know I love talking to you guys in the comments about games that I play and your opinions on the games. And yeah, let's just have a conversation there. Um, my final thoughts about this game, 
I really liked where it was going. I honestly thought somebody was spying on us and experimenting on us for some re some weird reason. But wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Maybe it is like Marvel. Something's gonna happen. I know it. Really, nigga? What? Okay. Okay, that just sealed it. Fuck that. That ending was... Blech. No. I'm not a fan of that ending. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Like I said, start off strong. Kind of like, in the middle, it was kind of like, whoa, what the hell's going on? The end, I kind of just like, huh? We never even got to see what Delilah looked like. She's always just going to be that distant voice to us. Which is kind of cool in a way. I thought that's pretty cool. The acting, the voice acting was really good. I thought everything felt natural. It felt like I was listening to two people having a conversation and they genuinely felt scared and had each other's backs, you know, when they thought somebody was watching them. But other than that, the ending, no, no. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this series, please give it one big fat like and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude! <laughs>